to wind the bobbin on your Viking sewing machine. First, you want to make sure you have the correct bobbin. You should be using the green cut colored bobbin for your sewing machine. You can feel a little H or a little V on top. That's how you know that you have the correct bobbin. Okay, so you can go ahead and place your spool of thread on your spool pin and replace your spool pin cap. Your thread should be coming from the underside of your spool of thread. Just like when you thread your machine, you're going to go over and follow these arrows with your thread. Under, then down, but then instead of going around like you have been to thread your machine, once you go under and down, you're going to come back and go right under this little hook. Not wrapped around, it's just going to go under the hook, like so. Now you're going to take your thread and pull it over to your bobbin winder. This is your bobbin winder. You're going to take your bobbin and make sure the letter is facing you. You'll feel it. It's an H or a V and you'll put your bobbin on the bobbin winder with the letter facing you and push it into place until it locks in place. You're then going to take your thread and wrap your thread clockwise around your bobbin two or three times. Once you've wrapped it two or three times, you're going to take your bobbin and push down to lock it into place. This is going to tell your sewing machine that you want to wind the bobbin and not sew um, with your fabric and thread. You can now turn on your sewing machine and you're going to use your foot pedal to wind your bobbin. It works best if you go fast so you can push your foot pedal all the way down. Once you put your foot pedal down, it's going to start winding your bobbin and if you see it winding correctly, then uh, you can go ahead and stop when it's full. Once you see it's winding correctly, you can continue going until it's all the way completely full if you want to go that far. When you're done, you'll take your bobbin and push back up until it's back in the unlocked position and you'll take your shears, clip your thread, and remove your bobbin. And now you've successfully wound your Viking bobbin.